Thanks for joining me for this Thought for the Day for Tuesday, the 25th of August. And uh, we're on the second part of our, our two-week special in the book of Ruth. And um, uh, we've got a long section today, uh, verses 6 to um, verse 18. So I'm not going to read it all. I'm going to summarise bits of it and then we'll focus on a little bit. Remember yesterday the scene was set. Um, Elimelech in a famine has decided to take his family to, to um, Moab. Uh, there he and his two sons have died, leaving uh, Ruth, uh, Elimelech's widow, with her two Moabite daughters-in-law, Orpah and Ruth. Uh, and then in this section... Um, uh, Naomi hears uh, that uh, if they'd have stayed back in Bethlehem, it would have all been fine because God has provided help for his people in Bethlehem and, and they now have food. And so she decides that she's going to get up and go back there. Um, uh, and um, she tells her two daughters-in-law uh, who uh, are from Moab uh, that there's no point in them coming back uh, with her. Uh, she says that um, uh, I'm too old to have any more children, so even if I were to find another husband tonight... Uh, then uh, I wouldn't be able to, uh, to, to give you any husbands to, to take care of you. So you should stay here, go back to your parents' houses in, in Moab and, and try and find new husbands. Uh, and uh, one of the, the daughters-in-law is persuaded and she does just that. Alpa, she goes. Um, but um, this is what Ruth says. Ruth said, don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if even death separates you and me. When Naomi realised that Ruth was determined to go with her, she stopped urging her. Uh, in, in this book, uh, in Ruth, the, um, the, the main characters at different points embody God's character and show what God is like. And here Ruth is, uh, is, is, is displaying God's character. She's an unlikely person to be doing it. She, she's a Moabite, remember. We kept get, the, the writer of Ruth keeps laying that on the thick. It's that Ruth the Moabite, Ruth the Moabite. Uh, is, people from Israel weren't to expect any good from people uh, from Moab. But here Ruth is showing us what God's like. And, and look what she does. Um, Ruth clings to Naomi in the crisis. Um, even though it seems that Naomi has got nothing good to be able to give her, uh, Ruth is loyal and she clings to her. And that's what God does with his people when they are in crisis. Uh, when his people uh, don't have anything to offer him, perhaps his people have walked away from him. Uh, God clings to them uh, with never-ending loyalty, even, even death. Ruth says, uh, I don't want it to separate you and me, Naomi. And, and that's God's commitment to his people. God clings to them in the crisis. Uh, isn't that amazing? I, I, we have a, a massive crisis worldwide at the moment in this global pandemic. Uh, and, but just as in, in, in the, the book of Ruth, uh, the, the, the crisis for the nation is pinpointed on a crisis for an individual in Naomi, uh, this, this global pandemic brings crises in lots of individual lives. P people who are not sure how their business is going to be able to keep going and they're, they're, they're concerned for money. Uh, or people where uh, their, their work is just become incredibly stressful. Uh, or where they're now having to uh, work from home at the same time as school their children. Uh, or, or people who are very vulnerable and, and now can't get out anywhere because uh, uh, they, they, couldn't, they can't risk catching this virus, or, or even people who have lost loved ones uh, because of the virus. A crisis for individuals and families uh, as a result. What does God do when his people are in crisis? He clings to them with amazing faithfulness. Let me pray. Our Father, we thank you so much uh, that it is your character to cling to your people through thick and thin. We thank you that when we are in crisis, you cling to us just like Ruth clung to Naomi. Father, would uh, you help us to remember that uh, when there are times of crisis in our lives so that we can keep reminding ourselves of this amazing truth. And we marvel at your character, Father, in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thanks. Uh, hope you'll join me again tomorrow as we continue. Take care. God bless.